Hi friends, stop wasting money buying lotions and oils that don't work. If they did, you wouldn't have to keep putting them on, especially these lotions with fragrance and alcohol. Stop using steroid lotions or creams. They thin your skin permanently, and if you use enough, they can suppress your adrenal glands. They are not a lifestyle and should be at most used temporarily. Steroids and other chemotherapies and biological agents suppress your immune system and weaken your skin as your skin is an immune organ. So if you are on an oral steroid, biologic, or other form of immunosuppressant, you need to find a physician who will work with you to get you off. Don't just stop it. This can be tremendously dangerous. Sometimes you need medicines as a bridge to calm the disease, but the goal shouldn't be to keep you on it for life unless there is really no other option. If you are immunosuppressed, you probably travel with alcohol hand sanitizers. That's definitely gonna dry your skin unless your body is tinked up with nutrients. That's right. You know, I commonly use hand sanitizer at work before and after I see patients and at the height of 2020, my hands look like shedding snake skin. No joke but I change my nutrition and fix my dry skin without using lotions. I don't use lotions and I still use hand sanitizer just as often. Imagine your surgeon using lotion right before surgery. It's not practical. That's not a sterile technique. And I'll talk to you later about what I did, but I want to emphasize first the importance of avoiding chemicals on your skin. And that includes your soap, especially deodorant and perfume soap. I think the biggest mistake people make is that they underestimate the power of food and how food can dry your skin or improve your skin. It's really what you eat and what you don't eat. If you don't drink enough water, eat highly processed carbohydrates like cereals, breads, chips, cookies, crackers, bars, you will look like what you eat. That stuff is dry and sucks water from your body just to digest it. On top of that, it is highly inflammatory to your body and your gut microbiome. Avoid inflammatory foods. Then instead, eat foods that promote healing. People misunderstand the role of medicines. They don't heal you. They target specific mechanisms to support your body to heal yourself. Your body repairs yourself. This is why when you get infected and have an open wound, we stop antibiotics way before your wound heals. Antibiotics don't heal wounds. They just kill germs. And if you don't give yourself the right nourishment, your wounds will never heal. It's akin to expect the construction guy to build you a house when you're giving them Legos as building blocks. It's a wrong material. If you have a little cut and it's not healed within a couple of days, you have a nutrition problem. It's not so simple as just eating food as 60% of what typical Americans eat is junk food. Excess calories don't heal you no matter how much protein or collagen is in that bar. It's essential nutrients, the micronutrients in the right doses that are missing in a typical diet that drives healing. Do you know how much vitamin A, vitamin C, Vitamin D, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B12, and minerals like magnesium and zinc you are getting in your diet? Do you get any phytonutrients like quercetin or bromelain in that energy bar or drink that are necessary for your immunity to begin that healing process properly? Phytonutrients talk to your DNA, which is in every single skin cell. So unless you are eating a diversity of whole plants like whole grains, not grounded up in flour, whole vegetables not poured from a can, fresh fruits not sealed in a plastic container, seeds, nuts, and roots not coated with fat, salt, and sugar, you are probably nutrient deficient and your dry skin is the first sign of immune problems. Now, I can take a look at your skin and know a lot about your immune system and what you eat and what you don't eat. It shows. But don't be discouraged. No matter where you are in your life journey, what you are eating now, your body is miraculous and resilient and all you have to do is supply it with nutrient-dense foods. As simple as drinking enough water and adding your favorite fresh fruit can be a game changer to your skin health. You may find benefit to supplement with vitamins and minerals, but make sure you are not overdoing it by bringing your supplement to your medical doctor. I have patients showing me their supplements all the time and I take supplements myself. If you want to learn more about choosing the right supplements, check out this video.